I need, like, pickup range out of the wazoo, dude. Increases movement speed. Hey, let's just increase movement speed. My damage is also kind of lacking, too. Like, I don't need more weapons, I need more damage. Or, I mean, more projectiles might actually uh, be cool. Fox King. Increases speed while moving. Attack is increased. For each bonus, 10% speed. Fubuki currently has up to... Hell yeah. So, increases damage based on my speed is awesome, dude. I'm just zooming. How do you, uh, how do you feel about Pal World? Uh, it seems like it's blowing up and people either love it or hate it. I actually really love it. You know, like I, um, I understand like the, um, how people might feel like, uh, how people might feel, uh. A little iffy on it based on the company it is and you know it, it honestly at this oh it's the investigators yeah uh, basically all the mobs are based off of like a, the um chat a, a different uh girls fan base uh yeah too many levels put into passives i think yeah um so uh i love pal world it's fun I like it as kind of like a um, weird Pokemon-esque, uh, like, Ark, Survival, Minecraft, whatever. It's fun. I like it. I I haven't seen too many of the arguments against it, how people hate it. Uh, I think part of it is just because of the fact that, like, I saw that there it, like, reached 5 million different uh, purchasers. You know? So let's see, say that even half of them hate the game. That's 2.5 million people that hate the game. And I'm just giving it a generous, like, number there. You know? So, of course, there's going to be people very vocal when there's so many of so many players that picked up the game. If they didn't pick up the game and they're just like, well, this is going to ruin Pokemon. No, it's not. Pokemon is different, you know? Power World is a survival game, whereas Pokemon has basically always been focused on RPG, you know? Other than, like, side side games, but, like... I I mean, I'm, I'm just... I, I know that I'm basically kind of digging myself uh, into a hole, but at the same time, I'm just saying that, like, I like Power World for what it is. I might have some misgivings about the company... But, whatever. There was a lot of AI-generated stuff that takes money away from artists, and there was some sus stuff around the coding, etc. I don't remember all the details on top of people who are disturbed by the fact it looks cute, but then you butcher cute animals like kids buying it, etc. Well, th <sighs> the thing is, is that I, I feel like Pal World never um, showcased itself to be any... The last argument is a bit weak, though. Yeah, the last, see, the thing is, is that, like, you can make a game, or, I'm sorry, not even just a game, you can make a piece of media about whatever the frick you want, you know? There might be disturbing themes in it, there might be whatever, but the fact of the matter is, is that, like, for instance, the kids buying it, like, I'm not even gonna talk about Pal World here. People love getting offended, it is what it is, yeah, yeah, exactly, but, for instance, the kids buying it thing. You know, I'm not talking about specifically Pal World thing, Pal World here, but if you're going to be offended by the fact that kids are going to buy the game, then why are you letting kids buy the game? If you're a parent and you're letting your kid buy Pal World and you're going to get offended by that, why did you let them buy Pal World in the first place? You know, it's the same thing with kids 
freaking getting Grand Theft Auto, you know? If you're not going to take the time to learn about, like, what Grand Theft Auto's themes are, why are you getting offended by the fact that your kid got Grand Theft Auto? You know? When you should have been a parent in stepping up and doing it in the first place. But even then, like, I played GTA as a kid too, and I'm fine, mostly. <laughs> like, okay, so I'm not going to say that, like, uh, if you play GTA as a kid or whatever, I'm just talking about the parents of those kids. You know, if you're if you're a parent and you flip and bought your kid Grand Theft Auto and you're going to turn around and basically be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe Grand Theft Auto had this. They're killing people. And you're like uh, picking up hookers in Grand Theft Auto. Like you're you're flipping a moron, you know? I'm sorry to be rude, but, like, it's the truth. The whole AI-generated stuff uh, thing... I don't know. Um, like, I've been hearing podcasts, and, like, I'm not sitting here and going to say that, like, I'm going to get on a high horse or whatever, because, like, AI-generated stuff, like, I'm... I'm not defending it by any me measures of things. If you have the ability to work with somebody and pay somebody for their time, then yeah, fine. I just think also that we're getting to a point to where technology is advancing. We're not going to be able to stop people from using AI, you know? And... Honestly, we're we're just going to keep going from there. I'm not I'm not trying to stop anybody from using AI, but yeah. Stuff 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 around the coding. I and even then it's just like the fact of the matter is is that I could see Pal World being a game that was made on the cheap and they didn't realize that it was going to blow up the way that it is you know i'm not i'm not going to get on any high horse and say that they did everything correctly it's a fantastic game it has no faults because you know what in the background every company has their faults every company probably did something wrong and i'm not going to like sit there and defend pal world or the developer and say that like uh, just because everybody else does it means that they should do it. We should we should be able to call them out on the stuff if uh, they actually did stuff wrong, you know? But for now, I am enjoying the game. A lot of people are enjoying the game. And I feel like uh, we should just be allowed to enjoy that game, you know? It was people who didn't know how to code. And see, there it is. So if they're sitting there saying like, oh, there's stuff, stuff, stuff in the code. Like, I, I'm i sorry, but like, you shouldn't have any platform now. It was like a group who didn't know how to make a game. Uh, one person came in to teach them to program in Unreal instead of Unity. And yeah, that led to a lot of stolen code since, well, they weren't programmers. But I mean, it's cool they managed to make a good game as amateurs. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm not going to get on any high horse and say, like, what they should or should not have done. It seems that they actually put some work into it, you know. I think that the only thing that really, like, is kind of flagrant is that uh, there is a sound effect that really sounds like it's from Breath of the Wild, but I haven't played Breath of the Wild, so I can't tell you what it is or isn't that they that happened in there. You know? I like the game. I think it's good. And it's not that I'm trying to ignore any of the problems that the developers or whatever has, but I, it really does also feel like at the end of the day, th they might be trying to dig for something you know, they might be pulling something and basically being like, hey, see this? See this? This is why you shouldn't be playing Pal World and trying to get everybody to uh, pick up on that. When, in fact, what they like really should be doing is like, 
if you don't like the game, stop arguing about why you shouldn't be uh, playing, the, why other people shouldn't be playing the game, you know? Because at the end of the day, like, uh, like, um, I think that the best way to, the best way to basically protest against a game is just by not playing it, playing it. You know, if you're going to argue or do stuff against a specific, don't like it, don't support it. Exactly. Just like that. You know, if it gets support from others, well, some people prefer to be ignorant. Exactly. So don't like it, don't support it. That's it. You know, don't like it, don't support it. If you're going to basically, if you don't like a game or if you find out some bad things about the game, yeah, you sh you could inform people about what's going on there. But then you do realize that negative press is still press. If you're going to basically start talking about the game, writing articles about how bad it is, you are giving them press and you're basically advertising it, you know? Like, I still played Blizzard games, even though I don't uh, didn't support what the company did. And not just that, but think about, like, Blizzard's situation, and think about how many other companies probably did the same exact thing that you didn't know about. You know? It's kind of hard to know everything about what's going on about all this, those stuff. I did stop giving them any money, though, and that's, that's fine. You know? Yep. Like, for instance, something I found out yesterday... Uh, Riot, the game, the game company who made League of Legends and Valorant, just like just saying this as a matter of fact. I know that you know about it, Cat, but anybody else. But Riot laid off like, uh, like five hundred something employees yesterday. You know, this is not a new thing in the gaming and tech industry right in this present day. But at the same time, like, this kind of came in as a bit of a shock for a lot of people, you know? So, what, you, the Riot laid off a bunch of employees, now you're going to stop supporting Riot? Like, what? what is the logic in that? You know? If we sit there and find every bad thing a company did you know, and stop supporting them, then basically there would be companies being started up and basically, like, going bankrupt within, like, weeks or months. And, like, it'd just be a vicious cycle like that. And again, I'm not sitting there saying, I'm not trying to get on a high horse saying, like, this is why you shouldn't do anything about it. I'm saying that, like, yeah, I, I feel like you should pick and choose your battles. If you don't support something, just don't support it. You know? Just because Pal World is the big game on the block right now and so many people are playing it. If you don't like it, don't support it. There's freaking 500 million games, uh, other games out there. You know? If you prefer Pokemon, then play Pokemon. You know? If you don't care about those things, if you want to freaking play Call of Duty, go play Call of Duty. That's all I can really suggest at that point, you know? If you're going to be pissy or whatever about a, a specific game just because it's popular, like, I'm sorry, but yeah, you're gonna have to, like, you're, you're just gonna have to go away at that point. There was a hiring bo boom after COVID. Yeah, so that that's exactly it. I think that's why they laid off a bunch of employees at Riot. So... In the tech industry, dialed it back when the internet consumption was also was reduced when everyone returned to work, etc. Yeah, I know that the tech industry and the gaming industry kind of uh, laid off employees because of the COVID boom. I know Twitch had that. Uh, some somebody else had that. I think. I mean, I think Amazon had that. I mean, there was quite a few tech and gaming uh, companies that did that. Do we need a podcast? I mean, I would not mind being on a podcast. There was, there is a uh, couple of guys at work that we were talking about things and we were like, do we need to start a podcast? So 
I would not be mind being on a podcast at all and just talking about stuff as as long as I know that it's civil, you know, that every, I I I want to feel like everybody around me is like a friend where it's not like we're we're not trying to tear each other down with especially with our opinions just see each other from our point of views and from what we've learned. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't want to feel like I go into the podcast and immediately it's, like, uh, aggressive or, like, we're always butting heads, you know? Like, I, I, I wouldn't want to say that, like, uh, like, I dislike this one game and then this person is, like, f trying to force me to like it or something. So, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's just my point of view on Pal World. I know that I spent, like, freaking, I don't know, like, ten minutes talking about it. But, like, that that's just been my take on not just Pal World, but gaming and opinions and stuff like that anyways. It's a popular game right now. And I personally like it. I'm not trying to throw away whatever anybody else finds out about it, but... I, I, I'm just at a point where I just don't care and I just want to play games and have fun.